So I'm back with part two. I actually did part two already and I really screwed it up. So I'm, I normally just post it because I don't really care um, if I've screwed up, but this is really bad. You guys don't want to see it. So um, I also totally like butchered the diva collection, like um, who sings what song. <laughs> and I sounded a bit like a moron. So anyway, I've got the browser up this time because um, I ha I'm having really a hard time describing what's in these. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, the first one that I got is um, You and I. Now this is Lady Gaga. <laughs> um, I totally had it wrong. Go figure. Um, and um, this one out of the three that I got is probably one of my favorites. Um, actually, no, um, the put a ring on it is actually my favorite out of the three, but um, this is very complex. Um, it says that there are notes of grapefruit, lemon, um, kind of citrusy, and I'm definitely getting that um, with a bit of a green tomato leaf. Um, and I actually get that. Um, and I think there's a little bit of jasmine in there. I'm not really smelling the jasmine, but this, I, I mostly get citrusy, green, a little earthy, very, very nice. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, um, next one I have is Put a Ring on It, and this is Beyonce. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm going to just pull it up because, again, um, I don't want to screw up. Um, I, I've, in the last one, I said that a whole bunch of stuff was in each one of these. When I went, went back to read was actually in them. I was so off. It wasn't even funny. I must have, like, the worst nose. But this is, um, this is my favorite one, and I actually describe it as being sexy in stilettos, older sister. It's very, very um, kind of on the same wavelength as that one. Um, but there are base notes of white white and dark chocolate um, with violet, jasmine, musk, blackberries, and vanilla. Um, I'm mostly getting very vanilla. I don't get any chocolate in this, um, but maybe if it sits, I'll get that. That would be awesome if I could get kind of like a chocolate strawberry type scent. Um, okay, the third one I got was Because of You, and this is the Kelly Clarkson one, um, and this one is really good, it really reminds me of, um, uh, the Love Potion number nine, and there's Lang Lang, um, with Jasmine and Rose with, um, a musk undertone, and right now, I'm getting a musky, almost like a musky vanilla, which is very pretty. Um, so those are the three Diva Collection ones that I got. Um, the next one I got was um, White Ginger, and a lot of hype has been brought to this scent. Um, I won't explain why. Um, most people know what it's about. Um, you might have to search the CVV page to figure out what I'm talking about. Um, I won't go into detail, um, but this is, um, definitely doesn't smell like ginger, which is good, but it's, um, a f like a, almost like a florally, um, florally scent. Um, it's very hard for me to describe too, almost just like a tro almost like a tropical, uh, a little bit of a tropical drinky floral scent. Um, very, I think it's named after like a Hawaiian flower. Um, but definitely, I've never been to Hawaii, but smelling this makes me think what Hawaii would smell like. Okay, Catching Fireflies is the next one. And again, these are ones that I'm pulling up the descriptions for. I'm going to tell you I'm cheating a little bit. I normally don't. Um, but again, these are, for some reason, this group that I'm um, reviewing, the last group, um, I found really hard to describe what's in them. Um, but this is in the house blends, and it's amber, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, musk, with orange, rose, iris, lotus blossom, 
berries, plum, orange. I mean, it's really complex with a lot of stuff in it. Um, I'm mostly getting like the sandalwood and amber, to be honest with you. And I think before I said that it smelled like cedar. And there's not even any cedar in it. Um, but it's earthy, woodsy, reminds me of being outdoors. Um, I've never really camped before, but I think that this is like, you know, at night camping, what the outdoors would smell like. Um, it's great. Um, then I have banana coconut cream pie. And this, don't need to pull up a description for. It smells like exactly what the name says. Banana, that candied banana, definitely get a, a hint of coconut in there, um, a little bit with the crust at the end. Um, this is yummy um, and um, really, really good. I like the banana scents too. Um, okay, Breath of Ireland, next one. And this one, um, almost actually now that I smell it, I've kind of figured out um, what I'm smelling. It just reminds me of like a, like an air freshener. Um, and it's fresh green clover, ivy with snapdragon, rose petals, carnations, white musk, and fig. I smell musk. I definitely smell fig in this. Um, it smells like something I, I don't know, someone would spray in a bathroom. Um, hopefully it smells better warmed. Um, right now I can tell you, I don't know if it'll be a favorite. Hawaiian hula muffin. Very pineapple-y, almost like a pineapple cake is what I'm smelling. Not incredibly strong like some of the others, but pineapple, if you like pineapple, cakey, that one's going to be good. Okay, this is the last one I'm reviewing. And this one um, totally knocks my socks off. Um, I don't know even like how I am just ordering this now. This is blue sugar cotton candy. And um, I'm just pulling it up really quick because, again, I don't want to butcher it. Um, but this is um, musky and sweet and vanilla y and sugary and almost kind of, I, I'm almost getting like a, like almost like a blue raspberry slushy in there too. This is so flipping good. I can't even tell you how in love I am. And this is definitely going in my next order as a mustard jar and everything I can get this in. Because this is um, honestly right up there with Elvis um, as my favorite. This is fabulous. Um, I can't even describe. That's going to be my new favorite, I think. Okay. Um, where am I at? Eight minutes. Okay, I think I'm going to end here, and then I'll do a quick one with the candles that I got. I, I didn't get too many of those, um, so I will, I will be back. Uh, talk to you guys soon.